Yes, the Borders Derby, it's certainly a game that we're looking forward to and, and having Gretna across at the Netherdale is um it's gonna be an exciting game and I think um if you look at the the form and the performances uh, both clubs, uh, they both had a, a bit of an upturn in fortune and, and that probably comes down to hard work uh, from both sets of players so it's gearing up nicely to be a really competitive match and and hopefully um, both sets of supporters are really engaged in the football within the borders and the, and the local catchment areas is so important and I think obviously at Gallifreddin Rovers if you look at our first team um, and the connection within that to the community um, it's really apparent when you see the amount of local players now um, taking that pathway from sort of the amateur football and, and the link from the local community into the first team and playing the lone league uh, on a weekly basis um, obviously two players that spring to mind because they're sort of that younger local player is uh, Kieran Green who's doing exceptionally well at the moment and then you've got young Sam Austell who came from the amateurs so it does show that there is a link there between uh, the first team um, <clears throat> and the local community in the catchment area. And there's a lot of good work that goes on uh, in Gala um, from uh, people that volunteer um, within the community and the local grassroots. And you can see, obviously, uh, in recent matches, we've tried to encourage the uh, younger generation, if you like, come across and, and support the first team members and bring a parent along to the game and uh, it's massive for the community and uh, I think it's a, an area that we can certainly continue to utilise and in, improve and grow um, as the club grows and then in, improves on and off the park.